Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another Kaiju Lu Wrestling Vlog. I'm Kaiju Lu, and today I will be giving my predictions for WWE Raw's next pay per view event, WWE Payback 2017, which is live this Sunday, April 30th. Um, we have about eight matches on the card here, and uh, I'll just be giving uh, my thoughts and, of course, my predictions on, on those matches, as well as also my thoughts on the uh, Superstar Shake-Up that has happened during the last few weeks. I know I'm probably um, late to the party on this one, especially in the wrestling world, um, since this has been pretty much covered the death now, but, uh, yeah, I know it's been a while since I did a last vlog since, uh, since WrestleMania, but now I am trying, you know, I'm trying to get, I've officially got things together here, and, uh, from now on I am going to be, uh, uploading these vlogs, uh, for all of you wrestling fans and the wrestling subscribers out there, um, on a, on a more, on a much more regular basis now, so, uh, yeah, but without further ado, let us, uh, get right, uh, let us get right down to the card here. Uh, we have a tag team match, we have Enzo and Cass versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Um, I don't know, to me this sounds like a pre-show match, I don't know if this is a pre-show, um, probably not, because, um... Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. I just at this point I'm just like, oh, they're 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 feuding. I I sadly didn't didn't notice. I thought it was just, you know well, it kind it's pretty much just giving these two tag teams uh something to do at this point. Um because both both teams uh very underrated and, and very, very good as well, super talented teams. And, uh, but yeah, at, at this point, um, I guess I'm gonna give this one, I don't know, I, I don't know, I, I don't know about this one, first match on the card, and I don't know, um, I guess I can give this one to Enzo and Cass, because at this point, Enzo and Cass, they, they really, really need a win on this one here, because, you know, I, I was kind of sad and disappointed, that they did not win at WrestleMania. But don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I was, you know, I was super happy, super excited to see the Hardys back in the WWE. And uh, returning back at WrestleMania of all, of all places and events. And winning the, the Raw Tag Team Championships. I was super, super happy about that. But if the Hardys didn't return at Mania, I was certainly rooting for Enzo and Cass to, to win the tag titles at, at Mania. But uh, but that didn't happen, and uh, so yeah, hopefully hopefully they get hopefully they get the belt soon. Those guys are really entertaining. I love them, and uh, yeah, it's just it it just they they really need a win. They they really need some something here. Gallows and Anderson they not so much. They don't really need uh, this win right now. Um, so you know because they they've kind of been on a row as a, as a as a heel as pretty much the top heel tag team on Raw, and, uh, at this point, they're, it's kind of like, they're almost like the only heel tag team on Raw right now, I don't know, <laughs> but, from what I, from what I've been seeing, and, uh, I gotta say, um, so yeah, they, Enzo and Cass kind of need the win right now, especially, especially poor Enzo, he's just been, he's just been their punching bag lately, he's just been, you know, <laughs> all over the place and you know what with removing him from the six-man tag team match for Finn Balor and and whatnot you know they bottom line Enzo and Cass they 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 they're the ones that really need the win here so to me uh I give this to Enzo and Cass um next we have Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho rematch for the United States Championship um, Chris Jericho on Raw and uh, Kevin Owens uh, officially now a SmackDown Live superstar uh, ever since the uh, the Superstar Shakeup and uh, yeah and if Jericho wins he gets added to SmackDown now but um, without giving it a second thought give I'm giving this to KO KO is gonna win this it is way 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 too soon for him to drop the belt he's been on a roll as the US cha as the US champion. Um, I think he is going to be, he's going to make a fantastic heel U.S. champion. 
um, since since Rusev, because you know it, it's guys like him that that bring back the the the, the prestige, the the respectability, and, and the value of of these championship titles. And uh, Kevin Owens, KO, he's been on a roll the last couple of years. The man is no stranger to uh, to championship gold. And uh, Jericho, like I said, I, I I I heard that the guy is supposed to leave sometime in May. Um, to do stuff with his band Fozzie or whatever, and uh, so yeah, I, which is why I highly doubt he he is going to win, and also too with the fact that it's like way too soon to for for a top heel like KO to drop the U.S. title. So bottom line, I am giving this you know one hundred percent to Kevin Owens retaining the U.S. title um, on SmackDown. Next, we have the WWE Raw Tag Team Titles. We have the defending Raw Tag Team Champs, the Hardys versus Cesaro and Sheamus. My question for this match is, I don't know, is, um, is Cesaro and Sheamus a heel tag team? <coughs> I, I don't know. Ex excuse me, folks, I got... Uh, I don't know. They, I, I, I guess not. Due to like with handshaking the Hardys and giving them respect after each match, losing and stuff. But I don't know. I keep feeling like there's going to be a, a huge heel turn here with Cesaro and Sheamus. And they're going to attack the Hardys after, you know, I guess feeling that they've been robbed of winning the titles at Mania. And, you know, and uh, Cesaro um, and uh, losing constantly to the Hardys. And uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens and how this plays out in the uh, Raw Tag Team Division. But um, I'm going to give this, obviously, to the Hardys pretty much for the same reasons as Kale holding the U.S. title. Uh, way too early for the, Har for the Hardys to drop the titles because they are red hot right now. Red hot on Raw. And, uh, you know, there's been rumors flying around that they're going, that WWE is going to uh, have the Hardys bring in their, um, particularly Matt, the broken gimmick, um, broken Matt Hardy. And, uh, well, you know, which is very, very intriguing to say the least, because um, we're going to we're going to see how this plays out. But uh, but yeah, I, I see I see the Hardys holding those raw tag team titles for a much why. Uh, a much while longer and uh yeah because they've been carrying um already they're back and they've been carrying though the whole tag team division on raw and uh, because it's been it's been gotten stale as of late but uh but yeah the hardys they have not missed a beat um after all these years um you know, kind of like how when the Dudleys return, but I hope, you know, they eventually don't get the Dudleys treatment, and, uh, um, I don't know, which, which I doubt, because they are over as hell right now, um, but without, for, you know, but, uh, the bottom line as well for this one, I give this one for the Hardys, retaining, uh, the Raw Tag Team titles. Next, we have Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt in a House of Horrors match, um, I thought, I'm a bit confused, I thought that the WWE title was going to be on the line here, but it says that it isn't, it's just a straight up one-on-one -on -one House of Horrors match, but, um, I don't know, I don't know, Bray Wyatt, <laughs> he has been all over the place, on Raw and SmackDown, what with the promos and what with the... Um, getting involved in other matches and attacking other other random wrestlers. Um, well, first, you know, he's, con you know, I'm sure this will be the conclusion to the feud with Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt this Sunday. But I guess the, um, uh, back to Randy, I guess the belt is not going to be on the line due to what happened uh, on SmackDown this past Tuesday where uh, Jinder Mahal uh, attacked Randy and he stole his, uh, I, did he take it? He took his uh, WWE title. I believe um, I'm not sure. I do not remember. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. Is Orton going to show up Sunday at um, at Payback with the WWE Championship or 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 what? Or will he? You know, um, will this just? Um, well, I guess, or will just Jinder Mahal be holding the title uh, a while longer? Orton probably um, get back at Jinder and get the belt back, or 
I don't know. Because these two are supposed to face off next month in SmackDown's pay-per-view of Backlash. But uh but um we got we got Bray Wyatt on Raw um cutting a promo at the end of Finn Balor's match. We thought there was gonna be something between those two having a uh a future feud between Balor and Wyatt. And then he also attacked Chris Jericho and Dean Ambrose during uh their tag team match this past Monday on Raw uh against the Miz as Wyatt showing up at the end as the Miz's mystery tag team partner and uh so yeah, I I don't know what I don't know what plans they 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 have for for Wyatt here. Um, but uh, yeah, House of Horrors. I wouldn't know what to tell you on this one. I am at the, I am curious as hell about it, but at the same time, uh, not really because I feel like you know it's going it, you know they're really overhyping it to the point where it's just going to be something really mediocre, something really really you know plain you know to the point where everyone thinks it's just going to be just another one-on-one -on -one match with just horror gimmicks or horror themed i don't know so yeah kind of like how bray wyatt and or uh wyatt and orton's match at wrestlemania uh turned out um it had a lot of potential it had a lot of potential to be a great main event match but match only lasting like 10 or so minutes and it was kind of really boring and really disappointing to to say the least um the cool part i guess was like the you know the little maggots and the spiders and scorpions and whatever appearing in and out of the ring um all over the the canvas and stuff and that projector um that was really cool i thought they were gonna, you know but orton didn't really get a much of a reaction from it um which you know kind of killed it but i digress um bottom line <clears throat> I, I would give this to Orton. I would give the W to Orton, but I don't know. Something tells me that the, uh, Bray Wyatt might redeem himself on this one because I feel like uh, why Jinder Mahal is going to screw Orton this Sunday at Payback, which would add more fuel to the fire of their of their of their feud on on SmackDown, um, which is cool. Which is cool because, yeah, wouldn't hurt. You know, Orton will keep his title and will keep his, you know, um, keep, you know, uh, it, n not losing cleanly to, to Wyatt, keeping that um, top star status, I guess, on, on SmackDown being the champion and, you know, making Jinder more of a threat to Randy and just uh just adding adding more fire to the uh, to the fuel that's that's what you really 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 got to do here because uh gender doing an amazing job as a heel and uh getting you know getting booed um a heel actually getting booed in the WWE that is something I ha I have not heard or seen in a long long time I only hope my only worry is that I really do not want um, I really do not want gender to become Muhammad Hassan 2.0. Well, I take that back. Muhammad Hassan 3.0. Because, you know, I say 3.0 because I believe there was Muhammad Hassan. There was Rusev, who was kind of, uh, in a way, Muhammad Hassan 2.0 for a couple of reasons. But don't get me wrong, I loved Rusev. And like I said before a long time ago, I don't know if I said it here in this channel... I believe Rusev has been the, the the greatest United States champion of the past decade, ever since Benoit held the title. Um, but uh, yeah, but Jinder um, giving you know um, Muhammad Hassan. I hope he doesn't go. I hope they don't push him to that direction, to that to, to that point. Let him be something different. Let him be something you know much more original. You know, I I, I don't know. It's just like I I already see you know. They're not really doing that because they're already playing him as, you know, the the, the heel foreigner um, who hates America and stuff like that. But but at least they didn't give him the camel clutch as or the accolade as as you younger fans might be f uh, more familiar with um, as his finisher, because a lot of. Of, of foreign heels have that as the finisher we got i we had iron sheik muhammad Hassan, and rusev so yeah but bottom line you know what i'm gonna be bold here i'm giving this to bray wyatt uh because jinder mahal is going to interfere during the match and uh giving bray wyatt uh his redemption 
uh, for for this one. Um, thus concluding the the feud, but the post WrestleMania feud between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Um, next we have the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. We have the defending WWE Cruiserweight Champion Neville versus Austin Aries. Another WrestleMania rematch. Um, I'm giving this one to Neville. Um, they're they're not going to take the belt off him yet. Uh, at least I hope not, because Neville been carrying the whole entire Cruiserweight division, as well as WWE 205, on his back the last several months, and uh, um, he's been bit on a roll, and, you know, Austin Aries, I I'm not taking anything away from him, great athlete, great competitor, um, I I'm, a I'm a fan of his, um, but um, I don't know, I feel like the fans aren't truly behind him, um, at least not right now to 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 be cruiserweight champion um so so yeah which is why i'm going to give this to uh to neville um i think the match is going to end with shenanigans um from tj perkins as we see um tj perkins having a a, a bit of a heel turn as of late um um i guess to, to really help boost him and stuff and um so yeah, he's been kind of like been playing Neville's puppet, where Neville, you know, he's just under Neville's thumb, and and uh, yeah. So I I, I I predict shenanigans happening from uh, T J Perkins once again, distracting uh, Aries, um, just uh, to give Neville in order to give Neville the win here, uh, pretty much retaining his cruiserweight championship. Um. So so yeah. Um. Which thus is going to, for now, I guess, end the feud between Neville and Ares. I hope. I hope this is not something that they don't drag out for, like, a whole half a year all the way to SummerSlam, because I can see that happening, because 205, you know, uh, that's, that's that's like, their two top guys right now, and I guess, you know, they, they only trust having, I don't know, these, these two guys carrying the whole division, which... I wouldn't like because I'm like, give other guys a chance, give other guys an opportunity, but I guess, you know, they'll just end it. They might just end it temporarily for now um, while they'll have Aries feud with Perkins and whatnot while giving Neville uh, a fresh new opponent to to face, you know? So, uh, so yeah, maybe it'll be Jack Gallagher again or maybe someone completely, completely new. I only wish, I only wish Kalisto was in uh, 205 in the Cruiserweight division because uh, he, he would make a really, really awesome Cruiserweight champion. I would be behind him 100% on that one. But, uh, but yeah, next we have Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Roman Reigns. It's true. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we, we, we have Roman. We, you know, I, I, I see Roman getting the win here because, you know... Um, that's that's Vince's boy right now, um, his top guy, and uh, yeah, this this feud has been going on longer enough because they, but you know, give credit where credit is due. They have built Strowman up as a monster. You know, I, I'm just happy that he didn't get buried or that you know he 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 just he's not like you know he didn't become. Um, a job or anything less than that ever since his first loss uh, clean uh, first time losing clean to Roman Reigns at a, at a oh my god at Fastlane I believe Fastlane or Roadblock I think it was Fastlane um, before Wrestlemania um, but yeah you know I, I'm glad that he recovered after that and uh, is still seen as a as a huge threat on Raw um but, uh, but yeah, but still, I'm giving this one to Roman Reigns due to the obvious reasons. And, uh, and uh, yeah, but, uh, but Roman Reigns, he wasn't on Raw, probably, you know, still, um, I guess you could say recovering due to, you know, the, the death of his, of his older brother, Rosie, former WWE superstar. And uh, my condolences to him and his family. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, personally, like I said, I don't hate Roman Reigns. Um, you know, I, I don't hate the man himself. I hate the people, how they are, you know, making him. That's what I always say. Don't hate the person. Hate 
hate hate the management, hate the people behind the scenes, you know. But uh, but yeah, you know, um, I digress. Um, so uh, so yeah, you know, um, uh, give Roman Reigns the win on this one here. Next we have Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe one on one. I don't know. Um, this one, I would go for Seth, but something tells me to go for Joe because. Once again, Joe, it's kind of like the second Braun Strowman of Raw. They are just building him up to be this unstoppable monster, this powerful force right now on Raw. Because, um, because you know, um, he is currently undefeated on Raw right now. He's been beating top stars left and right. And they're just building him up to become this, um, just this dangerous monster. And, uh, so, so yeah, um... I don't know, maybe shenanigans will happen, or maybe, maybe Seth will lose clean to this one. I, I can see that, though. I can see Seth losing clean to to Joe here, so, um, because it's legit. Joe, Joe be dangerous. Joe, Joe's a dangerous guy. I have, I, I have watched this guy, I've loved this guy since, since the early days of TNA, and, uh, I, I, I wish that, you know, he brings back the muscle buster, but I believe it got banned, which he, he now uses, you know, the chokehold now as his main finisher. But, um, yeah, I guess, you know, it is too soon for Joe uh, to, to, take, to, take a, to take a loss right now. And Seth doesn't really need a win. He doesn't really need this win here. So, um, because of that, I'm going to give this one to Joe. And last but not least, we have the WWE Raw Women's Championship. We have Bailey defending the Raw Women's title against Alexa Bliss. Um, I'm gonna give this one to Bailey um, because I think I think Alexa Alexa will be Raw Women's Champion, just not yet. Um, I'm guessing probably the next pay per view or something like that. I have a feeling they might build build it up as a triple threat match between Bailey, Alexa Bliss, and Sasha Banks. But thus, I think they will give it to Alexa and just for, you know, predict, trying to predict the future more here. Um, due to that, Sasha will turn heel, turn on Bailey, and as Alexa will be facing someone else in the Raw Women's Division, um, Bailey and Sasha will have their major feud, which is, I guess, which is what everybody wants to see, but... But uh, yeah, um, I give this um, to Bailey retaining to retaining the belt, um, and uh, Alexa. She will probably eventually win the belt, probably uh, next pay per view event, or even even on, even on a Raw, even on a Raw date. They'll they'll probably just do something like that, um, because Miss Bliss has been the favorite. She's just been the red hot uh, diva in the WWE right now. But, uh, yeah, as far as I can see, these have been all the matches on the card here. All champ I guess all the championship titles um, will be retained on, uh, on Payback. This is uh, my, my prediction on that. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, you know, this has been uh, my prediction for WWE Payback 2017. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think or what your thoughts are on, on anything. WWE or wrestling related, what with uh, what with payback or what's been going on with Raw, the Superstar Shakeup, or uh, what you think is going to happen, um, or if you dis you know disagree with me on something, whatever. But uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for for listening here, um, and uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Super Game Strikers here on YouTube, and please be sure to tap that notification bell so you can tell when to get notified for more of our awesome future videos to come. I'm Kaiju Lu. Take care, everybody.